The overlay slider element displays multiple overlay elements in an image slider. Just like an overlay, each slider item has an image field or an alternative video field, three text fields, title, meta and content, as well as a link with its text field. You can also select an optional image that appears on Hover. Now let's take a look at the element settings. The overlay slider element has options to set the item width for each breakpoint and percentage. For example, on the phone portrait mode, each item should be shown separately. The same applies to the phone landscape and tablet portrait modes. But starting from the tablet landscape mode and higher, the item width is 33% which means three items will be shown. Additionally, you can choose whether the slider height adapts to its content or to the viewport height. Alternatively, instead of setting a fixed item width, you can expand all items to the width of their content. You can also set the size of the column gap between slider items and optionally show a divider between them. By default, the slider slides items one by one. But you can also group slider items into sets and slide all visible items at once. The number of items within a set depends on the defined item width. For example, in my case, 33% means that each set contains three items. Additionally, you can center the active slide, disable infinite scrolling, or enable autoplay. The overlay slider element has various navigation options. You can add a dot nav navigation and an additional slide nav to navigate to the previous and next slides. Also, define the position and margin for each navigation. For example, in my case here, the dot nav navigation is positioned in the center and the slide nav is positioned outside. In the example here, I only have one dot nav navigation positioned in the center and in the example on the right, there is only one slide nav navigation positioned in the top right corner. Of course, the overlay slider element has much more other settings. But since the element displays multiple overlays, their settings are explained in the overlay element documentation. And options for the different content fields are very similar across all elements. They are described in the corresponding image, headline, text, and button elements.